Good blessings, tubers. So today what I wanted to do was a video response to the Sea Priestess for her Wheel of the Year YouTube challenge video. Um, I thought it was really interesting that it seemed like she took a little bit of a different perspective than many of us really mapping out the year and and I don't know there, there was just so much educational in there I, I really liked it first off I had no idea I never imagined that other countries look at the seasons and measure the seasons in a different way I mean I guess that's my ethnocentric American we are the tell-all attitude and I, I'm being really sarcastic here I'm sorry but um, you know we, we think that what we do is the way everybody does things and that's not true and um, I just thought that was really fascinating and it makes me curious on what other countries do to recognize the changes of the seasons or if maybe there are countries that don't even um, so I just thought that was a really good take on the wheel of the year discussion and this is gonna be super quick because the other thing that I just wanted to address was how she had put the elements in the different seasons. And I kind of like that. And I don't know, um, I, I look at them quite differently though than she does. And, and I'm not, not saying that she's wrong or I'm wrong. I think we just all have different perceptions on things and that's, fantastic and I'm wondering if part of it is because of where we live and maybe it is different with what we're experiencing or if it's just the way we perceive things so that makes me curious too but so I just wanted to throw that out there that she had put winter as being water because she says it's cold and wet. And for me, winter is so totally air because you have that cold, dry air. Even the wetness that comes down is generally frozen, you know, snow or ice. And so it doesn't feel wet until it gets some warmth in it. And so I just really feel dry in the winter. And, and so that's air to me, to me. That's all. For spring, she had that as earth because it was cold and dry. <laughs> Getting how we're not quite the same here. To me, spring would be water because it's very wet. There's a lot of rain. Uh, things are warming up, so all of the snow and the ice that is accumulated during the winter is melting and becoming water. You know, April showers bring May flowers type of thing. I, I think that spring is water to me. And, hey, we agreed on summer. <laughs> so we got to go on a summer vacation, okay, together? <laughs> you know, that'd be a really cool thing. We should get one of those YouTube pagan cruises rent the whole cruise ship for just youtube pagans that would be so fun um okay i i'm coming back sorry summer yes fire heat sunshine lovely oh warmth but then also a lot of drought and and it's usually fire times you know that um hot shots need to be on call and that's probably some another american thing that you don't understand hot shots are the um firefighters that go out to the wildfires and everything often uh, uh just get dropped off in the middle of um a forest or whatever where the fires are and left to handle it um so yeah we agreed on that one and then fall she had fall as the cold and dry and I don't exactly remember her reasoning for it but to me fall is earth because yeah it's cold it's not completely dry I mean it is in a sense you got the leaves drying and crisping so I guess in a sense that makes a lot of sense but I really think it of as 
of it as earthy because things are starting to kind of die into the earth and and you get that rich earthy smell walking through a woodland area it's like with every crunch of those leaves it's like more earthy aroma is coming up and so yeah I just thought that was really neat how she had discussed it and I, I part of me is like oh I'm glad she did hers at the end and gave everyone else a chance to to answer the way they did without having her influence but then part of me is like I wish she had done it first so that people would be influenced on hmm that's what she's talking about that's kind of a cool concept let's go with that but I just thought it was really insightful and really educational and I just wanted to give a shout out that hey that was cool thank you and now let's plan that cruise guys okay all right blessed be love